the Jordanian royal family has a great image. However, there are dark secrets hidden behind beautiful pictures on Instagram. Why was the brother of the King of Jordan arrested? Why were the Jordanian royals accused of spoiling the Italian paradise? And would you like to see their luxurious secret mansion in Malibu? Queen Rania and King Abdullah II of Jordan would like no one to know about this. Keep watching to find out on the WOW channel! They are always perfect, elegant and gorgeous. All members of the Jordanian royal family have an ideal public image. King Abdullah II and his wife Queen Rania have been together for 30 years and raised four children – Crown Prince Hussein, Princess Iman, Princess Selma and Prince Hashem. Their oldest son will one day inherit the throne and take his father's place. In the meantime, the king and queen are at the center of public attention. People never cease to admire their love and devotion. Everyone also admires the appearance of Queen Rania, who at 52 looks beautiful and has good taste in fashion. King Abdullah II is a real family man who has married only once. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for his father, King Hussein of Jordan, who was officially married four times and was considered a ladies' man. Hussein was declared king when he was only 16 years old. He soon married his third cousin, with whom he had a daughter, Princess Alia. However, it was a marriage of convenience, which soon broke up. The young king fell in love with British girl Tony Gardiner and declared her Princess Muna. In this marriage they had four children, including their oldest son Abdullah II, the current King of Jordan. There were also two more marriages in the life of King Hussein. For the third time he married the daughter of an Egyptian diplomat, Alia Tukan. They had three children. However, after the tragic death of his wife, King Hussein married for the fourth time to an American, Lisa Najib Halabi, who received the royal title and is known to everyone today as Queen Noor. It was the king's most prolonged and happiest marriage, and the couple raised four children. King Hussein also had an illegitimate son, Timothy, from a relationship with American actress Susan Cabot. For many years they were provided from the budget of the Jordanian royal family. However, their story ended tragically. In 1986, Timothy, who had mental problems, killed his mother and was imprisoned. He also passed away in 2003. As you can see, King Hussein officially had 12 children from four wives. According to royal rules, the throne is passed through the male line, from father to son. However, King Hussein intended to transfer power to his brother Hassan. It was assumed that his oldest son Abdullah would continue to build a military career. This was especially advantageous for the king's last wife, Queen Noor, who always dreamed that her oldest son, Prince Hamza, would become the heir to the throne after Hassan. She wanted to receive all power in the country, and perhaps she would have achieved her goal if the king had lived even longer. Prince Hamza was a favorite of Jordan's previous monarch, King Hussein, who often described him as the delight of my eye. However, Hamza was considered too young and inexperienced to be named successor. Therefore, before he died in 1999, the king gave Hamza only the title of crown prince and appointed his oldest son, Abdullah, as the main successor. The king made this decision because he was disappointed in his brother and decided to remove him from the throne. Abdullah II probably considered his half-brother Hamza a threat when he took power. By then he was already married to Rania and wanted to make his oldest son, Prince Hussein, the successor. Therefore, in 2004, King Abdullah II deprived his half-brother Hamza of the title of Crown Prince, overriding the dying wish of their late father, King Hussein. 24-year-old Prince Hamza was relieved of his symbolic duties in a letter from the monarch. 
It would allow you more freedom to work in any task I assign to you, the king's letter said. Prince Hamza supported his brother's decision. He said he would stand by King Abdullah as a faithful soldier and a devoted supporter out of my loyalty, love and obedience. However, there was a lot of anger behind the kind words. Queen Noor and her son Prince Hamza were losing their power in Jordan, so their discontent grew every year. Prince Hamza began to criticize the authorities in Jordan openly. He specifically decried the state of affairs in the kingdom, including widespread corruption, governmental incompetence, and the increasing tendency to silence critics, even a Hashemite prince. Jordanians' well-being has been put second by a ruling system that has decided that its personal interests, financial interests, that its corruption is more important than the lives and dignity and future of the 10 million people who live here, said the prince. It must be admitted that Prince Hamza was similar to his father and enjoyed excellent support from many Jordanian tribes. Of course, he was a significant threat to King Abdullah II and his family. As a result, in 2021, Prince Hamza and 15 other alleged conspirators were arrested. Authorities said they had foiled a plot in which Hamza colluded with unnamed foreign entities to destabilize Jordan. The prince denied the claims and dismissed the arrest, sweep as a bid to silence growing criticism of government corruption. I'm not part of any conspiracy or nefarious organization or foreign-backed group, as is always the claim here for anyone who speaks out, the prince said. Prince Hamza also said he was placed under house arrest, deprived of the internet and telephone lines, and prohibited from engaging in political activity. This event became a big scandal all over the world. Nobody expected this in Jordan, which was considered the most stable region in the Middle East. The rulers of different countries immediately expressed their support for King Abdullah, and he, in turn, passed a law that prohibited any mention of these events related to his half-brother and the alleged coup. Prince Hamza had pledged loyalty to the king two days after his house arrest began. Also, his mother, Queen Noor, tried interceding for him, stating that her son's accusations of an attempted coup were slanderous praying that truth and justice will prevail for all the innocent victims of this weak slander, Queen Noor wrote on Twitter, God bless and keep them safe. However, Hamza remained under house arrest, where he is still, and a year after his arrest, he publicly renounced his royal title, stating his personal convictions were not in line with the approaches, trends and modern methods of our institutions. A month earlier, he had reportedly apologized to the king in a letter, wishing to turn the page of this chapter in our country's and our family's history. In May 2022, the king formally announced that Hamza had been put under house arrest, and his communications and movements were limited due to his erratic behavior and aspirations. Interesting fact, the same year that former Prince Hamza was arrested, the press released the secret financial documents dubbed the Pandora Papers that indicated that King Abdullah and his family had spent about $100 million on a property empire in the UK and the US. They included houses in Malibu, London and Ascot in the UK. According to the BBC, since the king came to power in 1999, he has used a network of secret firms to buy 15 houses. Lawyers for King Abdullah said he used his personal wealth to buy the homes and there was nothing improper about him using offshore firms. For example, in 2014, Nambisco Holdings SA bought a $33.5 million luxury home on a cliff overlooking the Pacific Ocean in Malibu, California. Sir Anthony Hopkins, Julia Roberts, Simon Cowell, Gwyneth Paltrow and Barbara Streisand lived in the area. 
houses on both sides of the site were also purchased. According to the Washington Post, the middle one contains seven bedrooms, nine baths, a gym, a cinema, and a swimming pool. As a result, the cost of this large object amounted to $68 million. BBC and Guardian journalists found out that this house belongs to the royal family of Jordan. At the same time, the king bought real estate not only in Malibu, eight houses were in London and the southeast of England. They included six houses on some of the capital's most exclusive streets in Kensington and Belgravia. There were also two houses in Ascot, Surrey. He also purchased the four flats in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. The most outrageous thing about this is that Jordan receives much international assistance from the U.S. and the U.K. Over the past decades, Jordan has received billions of dollars from other states. At the same time, the economic difficulties and discontent of citizens continue to grow in the country. Lawyers for King Abdullah said the information about his properties needed to be more accurate and current. They said all these overseas properties were bought with his personal wealth, which he also uses to fund projects for Jordan's citizens. They added the offshore structures were not used to hide the king's wealth. According to them, high-profile people usually buy real estate through such firms for privacy and security purposes. In 2022, another information leak occurred. Credit Suisse leak revealed that Abdullah owned six secret accounts, including one whose balance exceeded $224 million. In response, the royal court stated that the money came from selling an Airbus 340 aircraft that belonged to the king's father and that it was replaced with a smaller, less costly Gulfstream aircraft. Without mentioning the leak, Abdullah said, There is nothing I have to hide from anyone, but we are stronger than this. And this is not the first time people target Jordan. Over time, everyone forgot about this scandal. Moreover, in 2023, a grandiose event took place in Jordan. The king's oldest son, Crown Prince Hussein, married Saudi Arabian architect Rajva Al Saif. It was a grandiose event of incredible beauty, and it was not just a wedding. At this celebration, the royal family demonstrated the future monarch. The next king of Jordan should be crowned Prince Hussein and his wife Rajwa will become queen. Queen Noor and her children no longer have a chance to gain power in the country. By the way, no one invited Queen Noor to the wedding and her oldest son Hamza remains under house arrest. Noor had to move abroad and now lives mainly in the US and UK. By the way, the royal wedding was also a scandal. According to the Italian press, a secret wedding party in honor of the wedding of Prince Hussein was held on the Italian island of Sardinia. Newspapers in Italy came out with headlines like Jordanian royals accused of spoiling Italian paradise for secret wedding bash. According to Messaggero, a gigantic tubular steel gazebo has been erected on the coastline of Tawalara Island, which is 10 meters high and 50 meters long. In the press, this building is called an eco-monster. The gazebo was installed in the Villa Joy estate, which the Jordanian royal family allegedly rented for an event. The event was supposed to be attended by 450 guests, including some heads of state. Ecologists were worried about this structure and turned to the prosecutor's office and local police to check it. We want to understand if the necessary environmental checks have been carried out. A spokesperson for the legal intervention group said in comments to local media. Laws in force establish a landscape constraint and a specific integral conservation constraint to protect the 300-meter strip from the seashore, the group said. The local mayor said the structure would be removed immediately after the event. 
At the same time, the royal family of Jordan denied holding any festive events in Sardinia. They stressed that the wedding, with the participation of guests from all over the world, was held in the capital of Jordan and no other events were planned. As you can see, the Jordanian royal family looks perfect on holiday posters and Instagram photos. But many secrets and contradictions are hidden behind beautiful pictures. Despite the power and wealth, in their lives there are many problems and secrets like any ordinary family. Do you think Prince Hamza deserved house arrest or not? Do you believe that their opponents staged the information attack on the royal family? Thanks for watching. Remember to share your thoughts with me. Click like and subscribe. See you next time.